discussion I had with Richard Garwin. And if you're not familiar with Richard Garwin, Richard is now 93, not maybe he's 94. And he drew the plans for the world's first thermonuclear weapon. Everyone's familiar with Edward Teller, and they call him the father of the hydrogen bomb, thermonuclear bomb. When in fact, Richard Garwin, when he was 23 years old, drew the plan. And this is actually not even written in some of the most famous books about the hydrogen bomb because it wasn't declassified or known until about 10 years ago, right? But Richard Garwin unequivocally drew those plans. And he, in a discussion that we had about this, he raised the concern with me of kind of the madman theory, the idea that there are people, and Garwin specifically mentioned Napoleon, who follow this logic of après moi le deluge, which is like after me the flood, you know? If I die, may everyone die. And so that hypothetical, which I figured out actually terrifies everyone, or rather I should say many in Washington, is the premise. It's what is called a rogue launch. In nuclear nomenclature, it's called a bolt out of the blue attack, which is actually pretty easy for we laymen to understand because it is literally a bolt out of the blue. It's like all of a sudden there's a nuclear weapon coming our way. That is how it begins. And the first interesting thing to me to learn was we don't learn about the nuclear weapon coming our way when it, you know, destroys a city. We learn, we, the Defense Department, learn about it in the first fraction of a second after launch because of our satellite. I was suddenly like, oh my God, you have a narrative, right? The mad ruler, the, you know, who launched. And then you have the technology. And that's what I think I do in nuclear war scenario is weave these concepts together in this horrifyingly tight knot, this tight one. system of satellites. And what the Sibir satellites do is they are parked essentially in geosync 22,000 miles off, one tenth of the way to the moon. Parked there, this massive school bus sized satellite with sensors literally the size of like a, a car. And they are looking down at the hotspots. They are looking down at the launch pads of the nuclear-armed nations.